What's up mga kabadjak? First of all, please bear with me since one of you guys sort of challenged me to speak in English for the entirety of this video. But if you want me to go back to speaking in Tagalog, just leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, my name's David and welcome to TSP, where I go full bike geek mode on the techie side of our bicycles. If you like these kinds of content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Okay, so your brakes are a major cornerstone in the control aspect of your bicycle. Basically, it provides you the support and confidence you need when you're going full send down the trail. So I highly recommend that before you go shell out for these things, take a good look first at your brakes and assess if it can prevent this from happening to you out on the trail. Basically, when you think of upgrading your stock brake sets, you either think of these two. Yes, the two giants. But come to think of it, are there any other options aside from these two? Are they any better than the models offered by them? If you're curious to know these things, you should watch the whole 4 episode series that I'll be posting in regular intervals in this channel. The good part is you guys get to pick which brands we would be featuring in the future and I've pinned your choices in the comment section down below. Let's start this series with this German company. These are actually very popular in the aftermarket and their brakes do mean business. The fact that they're the stoppers of choice for riders like Loic Bruni, Finn Isle, Sam Pilgrim, and Danny McCaskill speaks a lot about how they hold up. And their design aesthetic is very unique to the point that you know when a bike is packed with Magura brakes at one glance. Just look at those flashy oversized piston covers. In a way, they offer many brake families to cater to multiple disciplines, from cross country up to downhill. Disclaimer, if there's a specific model that you can't find in this list, it's because their production has been discontinued at the time of writing. Let's start with their XE offerings. They have three different stoppers for this discipline, the MT Sport, the MT4, and the MT8. The MT Sport is your gateway if you want to try Magura, but at the same time, you have a strictly limited budget. The lowest price I've found is around 3,800 pesos a pair, and that makes this really, really affordable for the masses. Let's check out the brake levers first. The Lever Master, it's made out of a material Magura calls Carbotecture. It's a fiberglass reinforced polymer composite, but because we're in the Philippines, we simply refer to it as plastic. The good thing is, these are Matchmaker and iSpec compatible. Lever blades are also made from Carbotecture and they feature tool required reach adjustment and out of the box. They are meant to be used with two fingers, though these can be interchanged with one finger levers too. The caliper is nothing special except for the fact that you get oversized pistons with this thing. That simply means a higher output in force than usual, thank you high school hydraulics. But in terms of cool bits, apparently it's no less different with let's say a non-series Shimano caliper. Which brings us to the MT4. Think of it as the MT Sport with added features and fancier lever materials. The cheapest units I've found cost around 5,400 pesos a pair and the brake lever master is still made of carbotecture material. But the two finger lever blade is now made of aluminum. The caliper now features a banjo hose fitting which simply ma just makes the brake hose more flexible around the brake caliper. I can see an advantage for that on full suspension bikes but on hardtails, don't think so. The next and best performing XC brakes from Magura are the MT8s which come in two trims, the MT8 Pro and the XE flagship variant, the MT8 SL. From a standard point of view coming from the MT4, the MT8 Pro adds all the essentials you need in a lightweight XE brake. But if you look at the price at 14,700 pesos for the cheapest pair I've found, it's not really for the recreational rider. So what's new with the MT8 Pros? The lever masters are now made with what Magura calls Carbotecture SL. It's basically CFRP or carbon fiber reinforced polymer, but in the Philippines, this material is still considered as plastic. The lever blades are still made from aluminum, but are now designed for one finger braking. Also present in this lever is toolless reach adjustment, which is handy if you don't own a Torx wrench. On the caliper side of things mold-wise, I feel like this caliper shares the same mold with those of the MT4. However, the piston covers for this caliper are from the older generation of MT brakes. The MT8 SL is basically both a buffed and nerfed version of the MT8 Pro. Buffed in the sense that it uses more expensive materials to save weight and nerfed because some adjustment features are shelved to shed a few grams. 
This topper is really expensive at 16,900 pesos for the cheapest unit I found so far. The lever masters are the same CFRP masters of the MT8 Pro. The lever blades however are a one finger flashy carbon unit that for some reason takes out the toolless reach adjustment for a tool required one in favor of saving a touch of its weight. From what I can tell, the MT8 SL shares the same caliper as that of the MT4. We finally move on to the gravity and enduro side of things. The offerings in between can wait for later. There are only two models for this discipline, the MT5 and the MT7 Pro. Let's start off with the MT5. If you're thinking that this is literally a MT4 with 4 pistons, then you're kinda correct. The lowest price units I've found so far cost around 6,900 pesos, that's 2 pistons more expensive than the MT4. Levers are identical to that of the MT4s but I'm kind of having mixed emotions with this because they understand that they simply reuse the MT4 lever to lower down costs. But the idea of having a gravity break without bite point adjustment kinda unsettles me, but it's a personal thing of mine. If you don't mind having a bite point adjuster to tinker with, this break's already good enough. On the caliper side of things, for some reason while you normally put one piece brake pads and four pot brakes, the MT5 accepts individual pads for each of its pistons, all secured with magnets. It also features one more arc in the middle of the caliper to which Magura claims an increase in rigidity. This is the MT5's more feature-packed sibling. Like what the MT5 is to the MT4, this is the four pot version of the MT8 Pro. Normally, this brake is supposed to be more expensive than the MT8, but I found the unit on sale at 14,100 pesos a pair. So it might sound misleading, but at least such things exist in our market. If you have a keen eye, you can find in the MT8 lever a little cap on top with a Magura logo. In the MT7's lever, there is a toolless bite adjuster in its place. It shares the same caliber with the MT5's as far as I know. Apparently, these are the brakes of choice by Loic Bruni, who has his own signature lever, and Danny McCaskill, who has a signature fluoro yellow MT7 with motorcycle brake levers. For the trail and all mountain riders out there, Agura has created their own 4x2 piston brake test for you. There are currently two trims of the MT Trail, the Trail Sport and the Trail SL. The Trail Sport brake set is actually a combination of the MT4 and MT5 brake sets with the two piston stoppers taking charge at the back and the four pots at the front. The lowest price I've found for these stoppers they are around 6,800 pesos, which is only a tad less expensive than the MT5s. What's cool about these is the fact that they come with the one finger HC levers found in the higher end models. Which brings us to the final brake set we're going to talk about today, which is the MT Trail SLs. If MT4 plus MT5 is equal to the Trail Sport, the Trail SL is a combination of the MT7 and MT8 Pro brake sets. But instead of having aluminum levers, this particular set gets a carbon one instead. Just try to think of it as the MT8 SL with a MT7 caliper at the front. If you finish this video, I hope you learned a thing or two about Magura's brake sets. With that said, thank you mga Jack for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content. God bless mga Jack. Peace out.